Okay, sorry about that guy. I don't know what happened with my cameras, but it's been acting up lately. So, uh, make sure you do this in the shade, which should be right here is best, but it was shade right here earlier. It's just that through the time um, the sun went up, and make sure you just want to do it uh, in the shade, not in the sun. You want to dry it after you do it. Dry the tape through the sun, though. That's when you dry it. But other than that, while you're in the process of doing this, do it in the shade. So I'm going to have to move my car in the shade in a little bit after I make this short video showing you guys step through step um, on this process and how to uh, repair the cracks on your windows. So make sure, just kind of make sure um, the uh, the suction hose. One second, guys. Um, just make sure the rubber mouth hole, which is right here, that's the rubber mouth hole. Make sure it lines up with the crack lines, so when the resin does get into the glass uh, cracks, it's right onto the cracks. Okay, so make sure that hole right there. It's called rubber hose, mouth hose. Uh, that's where the resin drop downs and this whole kit push it, the resin down to the glass, to the crack place. And you need to have another hand, use your finger or so, and push either side of that crack. You know, don't push right at the crack. Push it like either this side of the crack or this side of the crack on the, win on the window, okay? So that gives some pressure to open the cracks up. So when the resin falls in, it falls right into the cracks and it seals up in the crack. And make sure you turn this, um, let's see. You want to turn the resin chamber, which, which is this right here. Turn this tight. So this, make sure you push this whole thing tight down. These legs right here, push it tight down and make sure you have, uh, um, grease inside the legs and around the lines too so you can push it up so it has some sliding uh, movement or well, other than that if you don't put any grease it cannot slice so make sure you put some grease just like I do right here slice it up with the cracks there and just go ahead and turn the uh, the resin chamber which is this after you hook up the legs and push it down, it this resin chamber will push the leg down uh, harder, um, so it has some pressure to push the cracks, you know, open. Uh, and uh, of course, um, and the pressure driver, which is this. Um, so you want to take the pressure driver, uh, turn it loose out all the way uh, to refill your resin. And you should already cut your uh, resin bottle uh, tips at this time. So, see, here's some bubbling. Sometimes it has a lot of pressure. You have to loosen it to take the pressure out. So, see, so hear that? The pressure is out, and sometimes it has bubble inside. Just make sure and check you have enough resin in there, plenty of resin. Um, take it out. Take these. This Renex uh, repair resin here. Put like five to ten drop down there. Uh, you have to take this out, okay? So drop it down like that, and then turn this uh, back down. This resin uh, is called uh, is called the pressure driver. This is what it called pressure driver. So just turn it clockwise to push the resin down. And you do that every now and then. Uh, if you feel like you know you don't see any resin um, uh, falling down to the, the the cracks, so you need to fill up the resin. Make sure the hose is lined up with the crack. See, sometimes it get crooked. That's why you need to use two hand, and you need to go inside here and check, you know, often um, to see if the 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 the, the crack had been filled up. You know the resin fill fill the the cracks up, um, uh, match you know lines up with the cracks. Um, that's really important.
because you resin from this hole really needs to line up and fall into the cracks. All right, you got it. And and yeah, that's called a rubber mouth. So let's see. The applicator base is the whole base right here. It's called an applicator base. You want to hold it with this hand and push it up. Slice it up. Slice it really slowly and and use the other hand. Go inside and look and push with you know each side of the glass. So it you know it cracks open um, so the resin can fall in place. And just do it really slowly at a time, like maybe five ten minute an inch of you know of the cracks that's how you do it slowly like that so the resin can fill up the cracks that way um it can be fixable and after that you know i use uh, the kit come with like maybe 10 of this uh tape strip um i'll just i just save some this strip is too big see this strip one of it the strip is kind of big let's see if you can see it I don't know if you can see it that's how big the strip is I cut it in a half I put it right here at the windshield and I use a razor use like a a new razor and just cut it in a half okay just cut it in half because all you do is just using a half of it a half of the strip like this one you see that Let's see if you can see the strip. I just use a half of the strip. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. But just use half of the strips for the lines of the cracks. Okay. After the resin has been in. And just use half of the strip. You cut it, you know, more if you needed to. To uh, line up the cracks. So I've used three strips already. No, four. That's one right here. Two, three, and four. Uh, this is this is the extra one laying around. But anyway, you're gonna cut that big strip in half and use it right there. Okay, apply into the cracks right there after the resin has been filled in, and just wait until it dries. And you really want to dry it in the sun, just like right now. So I'm not finished. I still have a long crack up to here, and then I need, still need to do from here all the way over the driver's side. And I can't really reach right here because my suction applicator won't sit right here because this thing is blocking. See all these edges? I can't really do. You can't really do in the corner. You can try to put the resin in and push the glass or whatever, and try to have the resin in and then put the tape in. Uh, that's what that's what I'm planning to do um, after this. So if you can't really fix the corner like this, you, that's the only way you can do it. Put the resin in, push the glass, put the tape over it, and dry it same way. And then after the tape has dried, use a razor blade here to scrape all the dry tape and the resin. And the resin should disappear and everything should be clean after that. All right? Okay, guys. Uh, that's the best way I can show you how to repair the um, windshield uh, cracks. Uh, and uh, this is my experiment, so I don't know if it really works, but we'll find out after this. Okay? Alright guys, well I'm going to have to move my car over the shade to finish up this project, the, this, um, this work right here. So, before it really gets dry, then, you know, then it won't work anymore because it's hot. But you can use UV light when you dry it. And when you do it, please do it in the shade. Okay? Don't do it in the sun. Alright? So you guys got all the information you should need by now. And let's go ahead and do it. That's it, guys. Yeah, I'll make a, another video, final video after I'm done. See how it is and let you guys see, okay? Maybe a part three. Alright, it's me, Young Leo Akio, is signing out, watching my channel, Auto Modifying Sport channel. Bye guys. Oh, make sure to 
windshield blades uh, up. 